Hello everyone! I hope you're ready to dive into an exciting lesson where you'll learn hands-on how to use ChatGPT and what a prompt is. Little Yellow, do you know if Tack is ready? I don't know. Let's give him a call. Sure. Yes, yes, dear friends. I'll be there in a mind you. And here I am. Hello, friends. Today, I'll tell you about using ChatGPT and, most importantly, the magical tool called Prompt, and how to use it with ChatGPT. Let's break it down step by step. In the previous lesson, you learned how to register on ChatGPT. Now we can comfortably open our bot's website and start working right away. At the bottom of the page, you see a text input window where you can type your question. If you've been searching for an answer and couldn't find it, here you can get a response or, at the very least, receive a hint on where to find it. Let's try asking a simple question. Chat GPD, tell the viewers about yourself. You get an instant response where Chat GPD briefly and concisely introduces itself. I won't read the answer now to save your precious time. You can pause the video and read ChatGPT's response yourself. Notice that in the top left corner, the system automatically creates a chat name. If you click on the three dot icon, you'll see that you can share this chat with those interested in the topic. You can also rename the chat for easier retrieval or delete it if you no longer need it. Of course, I won't delete it. I click cancel and move on. By the way, before asking chat GPT questions on a different topic, you can create a new chat. Click the new chat button, enter any query, and chat GPT will create a new chat with a new name. For example, I wrote new chat. And chat GPD gave it the name new chat assistance. As I mentioned, you can change its name if needed. All right, I hope you understand how chat GPD works. Just ask a question and get an answer. This type of question is called a prompt. So, I asked, tell the viewers what a prompt is. Here's the answer I received. Now, I told ChatGPT, I want to create a presentation explanation about what a prompt is. Again, I won't read you the answer. Let's proceed to the presentation. Step 1. What is a prompt? A prompt is your question or request that you send to ChatGPT to get a response. It's like the key to a treasure chest of knowledge. Now you don't have to spend hours in the library or online to find the answer to a burning question. Step 2. How to create an effective prompt? Be precise. Formulate your question clearly and straightforwardly. Experiment. Try different variations to get diverse responses. Add details. The more information in the prompt, the more accurate the answer. Step 3. Practice with ChatGPT. Ask questions. When you need answers on different topics, use different question styles. Analyze responses. See which prompts yield the best results. 
Experiment with phrasing. Try different question variations to get the desired answer. Step 4. Example of usage. I present you with a practical example. I told ChatGPT that I want to create an image to use in my presentation. I want to explain what a prompt is. Before applying it, I need to think it through. ChatGPT gave me this response to create a prompt, create an image of Rodin's The Thinker. And the joker, ChatGPT, came up with that. But I did it. I went to a website where you can create images using artificial intelligence. I entered the prompt there, stating that I want an image of Rodin's The Thinker. And here's what I got as a result. I really like this image, and I may want to use it in the future. I can download it to my computer. To do this, I click the download button. After that, I click on the download selected button. And literally in a couple of seconds, the image of the thinker is already on my desktop. Step 5. Conclusions Reflect and analyze the results you've obtained. Which prompt worked the best? Make necessary adjustments. Apply the gained experience to improve your future queries. Homework Create a new chat and ask ChatGPT what is the maximum character limit when creating a prompt? That's it. Now you have the necessary information and can use a prompt when working with ChatGPT. Wishing you creative success and exciting discoveries. With that, I bid you farewell and look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial. Yours, Tack.